Hello people, you're welcome to Pro Masterclass. My name is Tola Labi. And, um, well, in this class, I, I really didn't plan this class. Um, I just thought it was something um, I needed to do because I really want to touch on a topic that I feel affects a lot of graphic designers. And I just thought, oh, it would be good to do this class and just talk to you a little bit about how to build a successful design company or how to be a successful designer um, a successful creative I get a lot of people call me and ask me or, or tell me how frustrated they are with their design journey and saying look I've been designing for so long and I'm not making enough money that question keeps on coming up a lot of people keep asking me that question how can i be more successful i'm getting frustrated i'm getting depressed and it really weighs on my heart because i really want designers to really understand what it takes to to be successful at design and uh, and this cut, cuts across design um just design it, it, it cuts across every other industry and i want you to just pay close attention to what i'm going to say in this class um this class is going to is largely unedited and um, as i said it's not planned but i just want you to just take what i what i'm going to say in this class very seriously now to be successful as a graphic designer as a creative there are three things there are three things you need to put in place um and and, and these three things are the foundation on which Pro Up Masterclass was formed, why I started to do Pro Up Masterclass in the first place. This is, these are the three things that Pro Up Masterclass tries to address. And if you can take these things to heart and put them in your mind and apply them, then you would see that in your design journey, you'll be making advancement and um, you, you, you would see yourself progressing um, towards a successful career. Now, the first thing is your technical skills. And what I mean by technical skills is how good are you at what you are doing? At what is your skill level? If you're a graphic designer, how good a graphic designer are you? Um, if you design logos, how good are you at designing logos? Um, if you're an app designer, how good are you at that? If you're a web designer, how good are you at web design? Can you actually design a decent website? Can you actually design a decent logo? Um, are you good with using the software? How good are you in using the software that you use in creating your design? That, now, that's very important. I, I think a lot of graphic designers know this. So I'm not going to dwell on this too much. Your technical skills. We all realize that we need technical skills to actually do our job. So that's the first thing. How good are your technical skills? You need to be good. The technical skills need to be good. So that's the first thing. The second thing is your intellectual skills. And when I say intellectual skills, what I mean is, how well do you understand the value of what you're doing to the world? How, how, how well do you grasp the need of your skill as a designer, as a logo designer, as a graphic designer, as a web designer, as an app designer, whatever, as a fashion designer, as a singer, as um, whatever it is, how well do you understand the value? How well can you, can you monetize what it is that you know how to do, that technical skill? How well do you understand the value? Now, your understanding of the value is going to come across in your rate card, how you charge for your time, how you charge for your skill, how you charge for your consulting. That, that's very important. If you do not understand the value and you just understand the skill, then the truth is you're going to, you're going to undercharge. You're going to be underpaid. You're going to be taken advantage of. So you really need to have a good understanding of, of the value of what you do. That's, that's the way you can charge a premium and be confident charging a premium. So, so you, you need to understand the value, the value that, that, that you are giving to a client so that's the that's the second thing the first thing how well how well do you know your stuff technically what's your technical skill the second thing is 
um, what's your intellectual skill? Do you really understand the value of what it is you're doing? Now, the third thing is what I'm going to talk about at length today, and it's your social skill. Um, I realized that a lot of designers, most designers, spend a lot of time addressing their technical skills. They feel, once I got my technical skills sorted out, I'm good to go. I'm going to be successful just based on the fact that I know how to use Photoshop, I know how to use Illustrator, I know how to use CorelDRAW. They feel that that's the end of the journey. Um, the ones that have more of an understanding have the technical skills and they also realize that, look, I need, to, I need to understand the value of graphic design in today's world and I need to be able to charge for that value. Now, those people understand that. But a lot of people stop there. They stop there believing... With these two things, I can make money. I can build a successful business. But no, it, it doesn't work that way. Um, you have technical skills, you have intellectual skills. It's not going to translate into money. It's not going to translate into being successful. You need that third ingredient, which is your social skills. A lot of designers, creatives, do not have good social skills. And you need to have social skills. It is, it, is, it is pretty much the foundation on which all these things are based. Now, if there's one thing I'm going to take away from this class, one thing you should take away from this class, if you don't get anything, I'm going, I'm going to make a statement right now and I want you to understand that. People work with people they know. Clients hire people they know. If they do not know you, no matter how good you are, Nobody's going to call you. Nobody just dreams up a designer and say, ah, man, I dreamt, I dreamt this number in my head. I dreamt this Instagram account in my head. I, I better try it out and call this person. No. People work with people they know. So if they, if they do not know about you, they're not going to contact you. So your technical skills is about getting people to know about you. Now, you have, you, I mean, your, your social skills... Now, you have technical skills, you have um, intellectual skills, but if nobody knows that you have it, then you, you're not going to benefit from it. So people need to know that you have these skills that you set out to get in, in the first place. So your, your, your technical skills, your intellectual skills are really of no use if nobody knows. And one thing I realize is that a lot of designers are introverts. Um, which is a big problem. We stay a lot in our rooms, in our offices, working on our laptop, and we believe the money is on, it's on the laptop, it's on, it's on our MacBook Pros, you know, it's, it's on, our, on our HP laptops. The money isn't there. The skill is there, but the money isn't there. You need to leave your house, leave your bedroom, leave your office, and actually meet people and get to introducing yourself to people, letting people know, oh, my name is Tola Labi, I'm a graphic designer, I specialize in logo design, I do awesome logo design for, for companies, I solve their visual identity problems with my skills. If people do not know it, if you cannot go out and verbalize it, then you would be frustrated as a designer. That's just it. Um, I used to be like that for a very long time. Um, I said I've been designing for 16 years now and I spent a lot of time in my room working on awesome stuff, really good stuff, but I was doing it in my room. And I just thought one day someone is going to walk into my room and offer me a million naira. Never happen. It will never happen. If I do not take what I have done in my room out there for people to see and introduce myself as someone who is capable of doing this thing, then I will be frustrated. That's the bottom line. You need to work on your social skills. Your social skills are so important. Your ability to introduce yourself and say, this is what I do is very important. Nobody's going to work with you if they don't know you. As a matter of fact, I would say if you had good social skills, and had average technical skills, maybe even below average technical skills, and you had 
average intellectual skills. You would do better than someone that has excellent technical skills and excellent intellectual skills with zero technical, zero social skills. You would do much better if you had social skills. That's, that's how important it is. You must learn the secret of networking, of actually meeting people. Too many graphic designers are, are too introverted. You cannot be a recluse and be successful. Um, and I, I was like that for a good number of years till I got married and I realized I had responsibilities. And I realized, whoa, I wasn't making enough money. And in 2012, I made a decision to stop going on Facebook. Well, just Facebook then. And I'm putting my work on Facebook for designers to see and give me likes and stuff like that. And comment and see how awesome I work with. I said I, said I was done with that. And I said I'm going to use the whole of 2012 to go out and meet people. And I went out and I started interacting with people. I made most of my business networks that I have today in 2012. I met a lot of people. I spoke with them. I introduced myself. I, I asked them what they did. And I was genuinely interested in knowing about their business. And I realized I started getting calls from people saying, Oh, I have this thing to do. Oh, I met you last week and you spoke about this. Oh, can we work on this? Can we do this? I, I had people referring me and saying, Oh, someone... I um, a friend of mine told me he met you last week and you guys spoke and you're a graphic designer. Can you come into my office? And, and I made more money in 2012 than I had made in the previous seven years. More money altogether in 2012. And I realized, wow, that is the secret. Going out and meeting people. The money is not in your room. It's not on your laptop. The money is out there in people's pockets. And if you... You need to be able to connect with them for them to part with that money. You need to be able to connect with them. So you need to be more social. It will work wonders for your career as a designer. That is very important. That one key ingredient, that being a social being, is very important. Remember, people only work with people they know. If they do not know you, then they wouldn't work with you. So build up your social skills and you would see how that would, would help you to grow as a graphic designer, as a creative, as a business person.